name is Julie Green and I am a physical education teacher in Rancho Santa Fe, California and a SPARK trainer. SPARK is the world's most researched physical education and physical activity program around. I'm excited to share some activities with you today from my backyard in Del Mar, California. Thanks for participating in the Spartan Kids Be Unbreakable Challenge. Today's session will cover the Spartan Kids Code, a Spartan thinks positively and is resilient through adversity, and the Spark Healthy Message, reduce TV and media time. And we'll address these Shape America physical education standards and grade level outcomes. All right, before we begin our first activity, check with your parents and make sure that you only participate in activities that are suitable for you and your family, given all the recommendations of the CDC. Today we're going to start with a Tabata warm up. Tabata is a high intensity interval training workout, and they usually last about four minutes. Ours will be a little bit less than that, about three and a half. I've chosen six of my favorite exercises that use all different muscle groups. Try mine, and then you can create your own. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with exercise number one, which is jogging in place. I'm gonna do that for 20 seconds, and then I'm gonna rest for 10 seconds. Then I'll move to the second ex exercise and do the same thing. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna go through all six. Jogging in place, here we go. Now, I'm not really timing myself, I'm just guessing. What I think is about 20 seconds. I think I'm pretty good at that. Okay, that's about 20 seconds. I'm going to shake out my large muscle groups now. Ooh, we've got a helicopter going overhead. It's a beautiful day here in Del Mar. Okay, exercise number two. Mountain climbers. than your shoulders. You're going to squat down like you're sitting in a chair. 20 seconds. Here we go. Building all those muscles in my lower body right now. My quadriceps, hamstrings, my glutes. Ooh, this feels good. I have a nice breeze going here today. more. All right. Shake it out. I got 10 seconds to rest. My next one is the plank hold. We're just going to hold a plank. I'm going to do a high plank. I'm going to try to get as flat of a body as I can. Here we go. My eyes should be looking between my hands. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your glutes. Be a nice, tight body. Good
All right. That was just about 20 seconds, I think. Way to go, everybody. So that's our Tabata warm up for today. I chose six of my favorite exercises. Next time, you choose six of yours and do it all on your own. Have fun. The next activity we're going to do are some ball handling drills. There's no dribbling involved in these drills. So you can use a basketball, a soccer ball, a playground ball. I'm going to use a soccer ball today. So you're going to practice each drill for about 30 to 60 seconds in the first round and then go back and practice for longer if you want to. So the first one we're going to do is the tap drill. So you're going to put your arms out, bend your knees, and you're just going to tap the ball back and forth, move it up to the top, move it out to the middle, down below, back up, trying to lock your elbows, tap up to the middle, and down below. That's tap drill, super easy. Next one we're gonna do is around the world. So all you're gonna do is take the ball, start by moving around your head a few times, switch directions, and go around your waist. Switch directions. And let's see if you can get down below your, around your ankles. And then switch legs. Same thing on this side. Switch directions. Just like that. Okay, moving into some figure eights now. So we're gonna get down low and we're gonna go around one leg and then around the other leg. Making a figure eight. Now let's switch directions. Just like that. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do the front to back toss. This one's a little challenging. You're gonna start with the ball here in front and you're gonna try to catch it behind you. I'm gonna go sideways. This one's tricky. We're getting a little more challenging here. Let's see if we can do it. Toss. Dropped it, no big deal. Take it back up, let's try it again. Front to back, did it. Back to front, front to back, dropped it, no big deal. Pick it back up and keep going. Front to back, back to front. Woo, that's a tough one. Let's see if you can try that one. Okay, last one we're gonna do is called the pretzel. The pretzel, you're gonna stand in a squat position. You're gonna have the ball right in the middle, one hand in the front, one hand in the back of the ball. You're gonna to toss the ball up a little bit and switch hands. Toss and switch. Just like that. Now, if you can do the standing pretzel, the last one you're gonna to wanna to try is the walking pretzel. This one's extra credit now. So, instead of just standing, you're gonna hold the ball just like this, take a step, and try to do the walking pretzel. Whoops, drop the ball. No big deal, keep going. Let's try the other one. So, those are some fun ball handling drills for you to try. Give it a shot. Okay, so our last activity for this workout is the heads or tails workout. For this one, you're gonna get a piece of paper. You're gonna make two columns, just like I did. One for heads and one for tails. And I chose 12 different exercises and put one in each of the boxes here. You could choose any 12 you want. So I'm gonna give you a little demo of what this looks like, and then you can create your own and have so much fun. The exercises I chose are gonna help you build your cardiovascular endurance and your muscular strength and endurance. This game can be played by yourself. It can be played uh, with a brother or sister or parent, or it can be played with the whole family. It's totally up to you. I'm here by myself today, but I'm all ready to go. All you need is a coin. I got a quarter here. 
I can see which is heads and which is tails. I also have a marker because as I complete each activity, I'm gonna cross it off so I know that I finished that and I'm gonna see how many I can get through. I'm using um, just an upside down Frisbee right here so that I can flip my coin into it so I don't lose it in the grass back here. So I'm gonna flip a coin and if it's heads or tails, I'll let you know what we're gonna do. First one was tails. If I look on my sheet here, the first one in tails are 10 squats. So I'm gonna stand up, get in good position, get down low, here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna cross that one off. Ten squats. Let's flip that coin again and see what we get. I got tails again. Next one says ten push-ups. Oh boy. All right, get in that plank position. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, those last couple are hard. Crossing that one off. I've hit tails twice now. Let's see if I can get a heads. Okay, here we go. Finally got a heads. Ten lunges. All right, I'll do it facing you. One. Two, make sure you're alternating your legs. Three, four, you can put your arms out for balance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, I can check that one off. Put that coin again, whoops. Heads again, 30 second plank is next on my list. Get in that plank position. I'm gonna go to a low plank this time. Get down low, try to keep that body nice and straight. Look between your hands, keep breathing. We'll just say that was 30 seconds. Crossing that one off my list. All right, let's do one more together. Then you can create your own chart. It's tails. Last one, 30 second invisible jump rope. I'm gonna pretend like I have a jump rope right here and I'm just gonna jump rope for 30 seconds. I can switch it up. We do one foot. The other foot. I can do any tricks I want. I can do a double jump. I can do red hot chili peppers. And 30 seconds. So, heads or tail workout. Give it a shot. Which muscle groups did we work today? Well, we worked the upper body. So we worked the biceps, the triceps, the deltoids. We also worked the lower body. So our quads, our glutes, and our hamstrings. And we even work the core, so our ab muscles, our obliques, and all of our back muscles. Congratulations, you did a great job. Thank you for joining me today, and don't forget to be unbreakable.